Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, out I went today, and all I can say is wow, wow, oh my gosh, wow. So, uh, so it was supposed to be a very cloudy day today, with no sun, maybe some snow. So I loaded the uh, Ilford Delta 400 with anticipation of that weather. Whoop. There's my big pile there again. <laughs> in, uh, in, in Mrs. Wanda Hicks uh, Olympus OM1. As I said a little earlier today, I released uh, a video. It's a 28mm 3.5 lens. This is a professional camera. This is a professional system. Don't let the size fool you. If you want to do some research on this, you're, it's going to be an eye opener. This was a serious, there was no messing around. And this was a very expensive camera when it first came out in 1974. So Mrs. Wanda Hicks uh, gave us the opportunity to test this camera out. Uh, Possibly added to the collection. I don't know yet, but the uh, the uh, I had to go in uh, last night, like I said, and and fix the uh, the shutter speed. The light meter doesn't work, so uh, so today I had to uh, actually use a, a, a separate light meter. Okay, I, I, this is all I have to say. It became very thin cloud, but some detailed cloud. You know those little sheet detailed sheet clouds. Sun full out, bright, <laughs> bright as it could be. The uh, to tell you the truth, a, a lot of these photos were at. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, definitely I shot at box speed, but we were at one thousand, uh, one thousand uh, shutter speed, one thousand shutter speed, and we were at sixteen f stop sixteen. We were at f sixteen. <laughs> And and there was no uh, no other way to go but you know to try to adjust if after that it that was that much bright, and uh, my whole attitude towards this Delta four hundred, Ilford Delta four hundred has been changed today. Wow, what it put up with today, I it was such a it was such a shock, and and of course of course the glass the the proper metering and 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 you know the camera itself it, it, everything just coming together and working properly you know a freshly tuned up camera with that glass this glass is definitely i could see why why uh leica was getting pretty worried about this when it came out so it uh this film this film oh my gosh it it went from the brightest brights that could almost you know geez man you would think it would blow right out but then there's a garage scene in there that has like a metal siding old you know the old detailed metal siding and if you watch the front of that garage and you look all the way back and you'll see the trees way in the back it's got the detail in the lightest lights and the darkest darks and it did that all the way through today. I put this, I put this camera and this film through its paces today. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Brick buildings. The uh, very last photo you're going to see is uh, uh, the big hotel that I take pictures of before. Bright sun hitting that hotel. Uh, white, white siding and and detail still it's just with a, oh my gosh a bus when you see the bus when you see the hockey team bus the local hockey team look in the windows look in the windows of that bus and you're going to see the detail of the clouds and the direct sun coming through those clouds they just as thin sheet clouds and then uh, the Ice Palace. Oh my gosh, they they just had a uh, Trappers Festival here. It's a 75th and an Ice Palace was built. You might have seen a few shots. The sun was actually coming right through that palace. It was direct sun. And I took a chair of the ice throne, a picture of the ice throne. Whoa! It, it, and, and, then, and then of the lake and then of the bridge. Uh, it's just, oh! 
it, and the, there was uh, there were some big trees that the sun was hitting two trunks, and there was a house behind. It's in there, but these trees were full lit in sun, and I was four feet because it's a twenty eight four feet twenty eight millimeter, about four feet from these trees, and it rendered the two trees kind of strange. It 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 it, 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 it still it didn't allow them to blow out. But we still got all the de dark detail behind, but it, it's like a dreamy, it's like a dreamy, uh, rendering dreamy, it, it, I don't know, you'll see it when you have a look. So lots of, lots of photos. I shot the whole row. There's uh, the photo of uh, an airplane picture in my uh, living room, just a propeller and the engine. That's all, that's pretty much gray and metal. And that was done last night under just one light. And I had to hold that camera still and look at how this film and this camera. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was down to uh, two seconds. I held this camera steady because it's, it's, it's small, but it's heavy for two seconds to take that picture. I think it's the first picture you're going to see. And I just went, whoa, after I developed it. We developed it in the, uh, in the uh, of course, the Cinestill Monobath again, the... Uh, the DF-96, uh, keep in mind, I have to tell you again, that uh, you have to go to their websites and, and look at their charts. Uh, they have a, a PDF file to download to have your developing times. But uh, this is impressing me more and more as well. Wow, we're really going places now. But uh, yes, thank you, Mrs. Wanda Hicks. This is, what is this? I can't believe how amazing this setup did today and the, the and the small camera everything is bang on you know if if, if i had this, i would definitely spend the money to get the little uh, diode or whatever i would solder the little diode in there I, i'm able to do that myself so so you could use this light meter this wow wow this so so now so now I'm totally, totally stoked and excited. I, you know why I'm totally stoked and excited? I'll tell you why I'm totally stoked and excited. Because I seen some of the results from uh, from Mr. Musatos, Mr. Tom Musatos, Honeywell Pentax, when things were starting to work. Remember the little, the fire truck? So I'm going to service this up because, whoa, I want to go out with this too. This is crazy. I can't believe the quality we're getting out of 1960s and early 1970s cameras and lenses with them, with modern film emulsions. There again, the Ilford Delta 100, I'm sold on that. There's absolutely no question about it. The Ilford Delta 100, until I run into something better, and there's some, there's some contenders on the way, but the Delta Ilford Delta 400 today, <laughs> it 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 shocked me to the roots. It, it 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 was so amazing how it handled everything today. And I I you know I didn't give up. So I'm also gonna service up uh, and and give one more chance because not a fair wasn't a fair trial on on the uh, whoop <laughs> there's my pile wasn't a fair trial on that. Uh, on, on Mr. McLaughlin's Canon A1, it's here somewhere. Here it is. I'm, I've got to clean this up. I'm just so busy getting out and making content. So we're definitely taking this back out as well. I'm going to service it up, and uh, out we go with this. That was not a fair trial in that snowstorm and the way things were. I, so uh, so here we go. There's a light meter. I got uh, Today I used a, a free app. I don't know what the name. I'm not promoting apps. You who knows what kind of disease or viruses are in some of these apps. So I will not promote an app. But uh, I used a free app today as a light meter because what else? I had nothing else. My other my spot meter hasn't come yet. But I'm so excited to get this spot meter. So here's the photos. Wow. This, I've just, all I got to say is, wow, I am so impressed with this system. Thank you, Mrs. Hicks. This is, uh, like, we're moving forward. Things are improving. What an awesome, what an awesome thing to do for for a hobby or, or for, you know, just 
what an awesome thing. I, I can't, could, I would rather, there's nothing I would rather do. I'm lost for words after seeing what happened today. I'm lost for words. So uh, <laughs> here we go. I can ramble on forever. Uh, my enthusiasm, and I haven't had that much coffee, but I want a coffee. Oh, I got to clean up. Oh, they got some things here. There, there's a few other things that came. Oh, she okay with with her camera that that she's letting us try out. There's uh, all kinds of filters. Uh, uh, it's just crazy the amount of stuff. The, so uh, all right. I got some cameras to service and fix. You've got some photos to look at. Pay attention to all these photos and look how the whites go from the brightest brights and how they flow into the, you know, into the grays and into the darks and the shadows. I tried to take pictures of, you know, I'm not just taking pictures of garbage sheds and, and old fences for nothing. I'm taking these pictures so we could see how all of this stuff is is reacting to a, a full array of from the brightest brights to the darkest darks and uh, so please when you're looking at these photos pay attention to that stuff pay attention to the technical aspect and the light gathering aspect of the emulsions on these films and the lenses and and the accuracy of these cameras and which you know I tell you right now light meter the the uh, you know these older cameras they were built to have batteries you know some the Nikon's not so bad but but some of the other ones they were built with these old mercury batteries and you have to do some the the 1.5 volts throws your light meter off that's all I have to say okay <laughs> enjoy the photos work week starts tomorrow I'll try to get some more done in between Enjoy your day. Enjoy the photos. I hope you're as excited as I am. Please pay attention to the details. Hang loose. I got thick skin because I've been burned before. I got baggage that you don't know of. Learn the hard way not to trust.
You probably think I'm hurt.